All right, this video is going to cover tax tip discount, two different ways to solve it. You've been taught to slide and multiply, but you can also use proportions. And that's what we're really going to dig in deep on. So this first problem, how much will you save when a $45 shirt has a 30% discount? Well, a lot of teachers have taught you just to go 30% of 45, and on a calculator, a standard calculator, you'd make your 30% into a decimal, and then multiply by 45, and you get an answer. So that's your savings amount on a $45 shirt. That's not what you'd pay. Well, that's another conversation we'll have shortly. That's the discount amount. That's how much you'd save. You can also do proportions. You can go ahead and say, okay, proportions percentage is always over 100. So you can take your 30%, put it over 100. And then over here, so that means for every $100, you're saving $30. So out of $45, how much are you going to save? And then you can apply your 45 times 30 divided by 100 to get an answer. And that answer ends up being, once again, just like over here, 1350. We're going to go ahead and move on. You plan on leaving a 15% tip on a $35 meal. What is the tip amount? So once again, you could go 15% of 35. Using a standard calculator, you'd have to make your percentage into a decimal. 15%, 0.15 times 35, and you get an answer of $5.25. We could also do this as a proportion. You could think of 15% as 15 over 100. So 50, for every $100, you're going to be tipping $15. So out of $35, you're going to tip a certain amount. You do your 35 times 15 divided by 100, and you'd get $5.25. Moving on. There is a 5.4% tax on a $65 pair of shoes. What is the tax amount? So once again, using a calculator, you'd slide your percentage two places over and you'd get 0 .054 times 65. This is where a lot of kids will mess up. They'll just say 0.54. And that would be a 54% tax. That'd be a crazy amount of tax. So you end up getting, when you do 0 .054 times 65, you end up getting $3.51. If you do it as a proportion, you're going to have your 5.4%. Don't do any decimal slides. Just stick 5.4 over 100. So for every $100 that you spend, you're going to be charged, you're going to be taxed $5.40. So out of $65, you're going to go 65 times 5.4 divided by 100, and you get the same thing as you did here, $3.51. So that's the standard thing you're going to have to do for seventh grade math, where you just find the tax amount, the tip amount, or the discount amount. We're going to go ahead and try some other things here. You plan on leaving a 15% tip on a $70 meal. What's the total cost? So on this question, they're not asking for just the tip amount. You need to pay the cost plus the tip. So now what we can do, we can think of this as we're paying for 100% of the cost plus 15% for the tip. So you can think of this as 100, 115% of 70. This could get a little tricky, but try check this out. So 115% of $70, you could go 1.15, because that's 115% as a decimal, and you get an answer of $80.50. That's your total cost. So with a proportion, you could say, well, 115% out of 100, 115 out of 100. So that means for every $100, you're going to spend the cost plus 15% more. So out of $70, you're going to get a certain number. You're going to get $80.50 again. So either way, you're spending $80.50. That's the $70 plus the tip. In the previous problems, we just figured out the tip amount. Now we're figuring out the total cost. What's the sale price of a $54 shirt that has a 45% discount? For a problem like this, if, if you're taking off 45%, that means you're paying 
for 55% of the shirt. So if there's a 45% discount, you're only paying for 55% of the cost. So you could do 55% of 54 to figure out what you're actually paying. 55% times 54. And you get this. This is the sale price. So if you did a uh, proportion, you could go 55% out of 100, $54. So if it was $100, you'd only be paying $55. So out of $54, you're paying how much? 54 times 55 divided by 100, and you get the same thing. How much will you pay when a $54 shirt has a 5% tax? So this one, you're paying 100% of the shirt plus 5% tax. You're paying for 105% of the item. 100% of the cost, 5% more in tax, 105%. So you're paying for 1.05, which is 105% as a decimal, times 54. You get this. That's your total cost with the tax. And then if you set up a proportion, you could go 105 over 100. And you're going to say, well, out of 54, how much is it? So then you do your cross product trick, 54 times 105 divided by 100. And you get the same thing. Now, if they were asking for what's the tax amount, you'd only do the 5% of 54, but they're saying the total cost, so you're going this way. And that is about it. I hope this helps. Best of luck to you.